Um, I wanted to give an update on my the Speed Goat Hoka Speed Goat Fives and Hoka Speed Goat Fours and Hoka's um, for me right now. <laughs> so I'll make this a picture moment. Yay! Okay, so where we left off in May, April. Okay, in March, the Hoka Spigo 5 came out. Unfortunately, it only came out in limited sizes. So what I did, I was so excited because I heard such great things in the reviews, was I went ahead and ordered the Spigo, Hoka Spigo 5 in 9.5 because they didn't have wide, okay? If you look back on my videos, I was very unhappy about that <laughs> over and over. I was happy with the shoe, but unhappy because I needed the wide. Well, good news is I think all the sizes have come out and the wides did come out. So I was super excited about that. So um, what happened was I wore the Spigo 5s. I found them too narrow a little bit and um, I went back to the Hoka Speakout 4s because I was unhappy. First because there wasn't wide yet and second because when I wore them I wore the 4s on road and trail and the, when I wore them on the road the Spigo 5s they were really hard on my soles. So I didn't like that. So I went back to my Spigo 4s, Hoka Spigo 4s. So today is July 9th, 2022. So this was in April. And it's now July, May, June, July. So three months ago. So I wore my, I went back and I just wore my Spigo 4s. So I wore those April, May, June, I got the same old wear pattern that I always get, which is right here. And that's just in two months, three months. And everything was fine. Everything was great, like always. I enjoy my Spigo 4s. I have, since trying the Spigo 5s, this higher heel, Spigo 4s, Spigo 5s. The Spigo five heel <clears throat> is lower here and it flares out see the flare out that way so the spigo five is higher up here and also goes up up straight and high and i realized i do like the flare better so i went back to the spigo five okay so everything was great except the heel not as nice but everything else, wonderful. But it wore out. It wore out in two to three months. It was giving me a dead shoe vibe, which is, it looks great. Everything looks fantastic. This is the bottom. The only wear is in that usual heel spot for me. That is the outside of the shoe. So... My outside heels where I wear. The rest of the shoe looks very good. Not too much wear. There's a little wearing on the lugs, just a bit. But there's still lots and lots of lugs except in my usual wear spot there, back here. See, it's worn out. But everything else is super great. But this bottom density no longer has a bounce they're dead for for me they're dead they don't bounce anymore so i had ordered being not so happy with the speed goat fives uh i had ordered a backup in my favorite shoe the hocus speed goat fours i ordered a backup so i in um july I pulled out the backup, my brand new 
same old Hoka Spiegel board, brand new out of the box, nine and a half wide. And I couldn't get comfortable. My bottom of my feet could not get comfortable. I took them on a little, some dog walks. I ran, I tried till, uh, trails, I tried road, I tried running. The bottom of my feet hurt. Um, not like usual in Hoka Spiegel fours. I could not get them to wear in comfortably where my bottom of my feet wouldn't hurt Mostly afterwards. During was fine, but after. Um, aggravating my plantar fasciitis, I'm thinking. So I finally said, that's it. You know, I can't get comfortable. I tried them for a few weeks at least. Um, maybe a month. I don't know. I didn't write it down. But my brand new out of the box ones could not get comfortable to the bottom of my shoe. So you know what I did? I buy them at REI because they have a great um, return policy. And their return policy, if you're a member, our REI co-op member, they said you can return any item up to a year if you're a member. So what I did is I went back and I said, I, because they're a $155 shoe at least, you know, with tax, which here is very high tax in the U.S. and in my town is very high tax. So, you know, 160 bucks for a shoe. I'm like, I can't wear these. So I took them back and they were nice enough to give me my money back. Not only that, the Hoka Spigo five wides had come in. So I had ordered those off REI in the wide. Yay. Nine and a half wide. And, um, I tried them out. They seemed okay. So I took the nine and a half not wide, which they only had when I bought them. I took them back. So um, I bought those around March when they came out. So it was fine. Now it's July. So I took my brand new Hoka Spigo fours that were hurting my feet and my brand new, my worn, my very worn, I had worn them quite a bit. Uh, Hoka Spiegel five, nine and a half, not wide. I took them back because they're 155 bucks plus tax. And they gave me my money back. I was so happy. That's 300 bucks in shoes. You know, they gave me my money back. I was really happy because, um, and I had worn the crap out of those nine and a half, um, nine and a half Hoka Spigo fives because that's all they had at the time and I was running a couple trail I ran one trail race they got very muddy and because they were not wide they felt pretty good but I did get rubbing where I don't usually get rubbing in a shoe because they weren't wide enough and I, I got a little blistery rubbing action nothing bad happened after you know i didn't get blistery but it was uncomfortable during the race i'm like screw it these are not gonna cut it i was thinking of keeping them because i had worn them but no i got the wides i'm using the wides so i took back the hocus Spigo fours which i usually love i have now the hocus Spigo fives in nine and a half I've been wearing them a, just a couple times so far. They're still brand new, pretty much out of the box. I really have only worn them a couple times. I'm super happy with the wide. So far, I have no problems. They're comfy. They got lots of cushion. I like the heel flare. I had already tried out the nine and a half without the wide, so I'm now familiar with the shoe. I like the overlay. I like that it's wide. I like the cushion. I like the heel. I like the tongue. Um, it's my usual comfort in a Hoka feel in a trail shoe. I love the usual. This isn't really changed. I don't think lug. They're dirty because I wore them, but I love the lugs. Um, totally comfortable with rain mud dirt gravel like even downhill we have a trail that goes 
I go uphill and I'm zigzag and then I go downhill and it's pebbly kind of dirty and um, no problem with slippage. I run with confidence because the lugs are built to go downhill as well as up. And so they're very grippy. They're very uh, reliable for me. And they're semi waterproof because they have some waterproofing overlay. Um, they're pretty light, seem breathable. I'm uh, getting happy with them now that they're in the wide size. So while I took back my brand new Spiegel 4s that were not comfortable, I needed a new road shoe because my previous road shoe, the Clifton Hoka Clifton 7s, I think I had them in back. I had for road. I've had them for a long, long time. Um, I don't like the pinchiness, how it goes a little narrow in the toe. I never liked that. I like that they were uh, lighter and not as grippy. So, you know, for the nicer weather out, a little lighter running shoe than a trail shoe that's very grippy. On the road, that's you know, you want something a little lighter. Um, my Clifton 7s died. They, um, I wore them. They were not bouncy. They did not have any spring to them anymore. They look great, <laughs> but they were dead. So I needed a new road shoe desperately. So I was at REI and I looked at the shelves of Hoka shoes and... I, I got these. These are the Hoka Bondi, I believe. Let me check. Hoka Bondi 7. Um, I got these for my new road shoe. Now, it's still a lot of shoe for a road shoe. Like, if you're a speedy elite, you probably aren't going to wear the Bondi because they wear really sleek, fast road shoes. Well, I need lots of cushion because I'm a heavier runner. I tend to toward plantar fasciitis. I need a lot of cushion. Uh, but I want something lighter for the summer and nicer weather and road not as grippy so they do not have the lugs see this road shoe versus trail shoe with lugs lots and lots of dirt lugs road shoe kind of sleek i do need some grippiness though because here where i live in washington state there's a lot of moisture a lot of rain um i can't have just no grip at all. These do have some grip. You see those wrinkles? That's good enough grip, I think. I've only worn these a couple times, but so far I'm super happy. They come in wide size, so that's why I got them too. Um, a little more roadish, and um, they come in wide. So I got the Bondi 7 for the first time ever. I've never tried these before. For my new road shoe so far i've only worn them a couple times i think i'm gonna wear them today on my morning run um so far they're comfy and fine and good lots and lots of cushion all this is cushion very cushiony very wide they uh i think they said there's some rocker technology in there and uh, they seem to be rather stabilizing because they're a very wide sole. They're not really, you know, narrow. You can see the, the bottoms stick out underneath. So they're very stabilizing. And as you can tell by my wear pattern, my feet do that pronation thing or whatever you call it, where they're, they're not, they don't hit the ground flat. So these kind of make me hit my ground flat because there's more shoe sole at the bottom. So, so far, so good. Uh, 
I'm very happy that I found a road shoe that comes in wide. So um, that's my story so far. So I'm back to the Spigo 5s, just beginning to get back to the Spigo 5s because they now come in wide. Nine and a half wide is my size, women's. Uh, I took back my brand new faithful Hoka Speedgoat 4s. I don't know what happened, but they now hurt the bottom of my feet. Speedgoat 4, 9.5 wide. I don't know. Did they change something? I don't know. And now I'm trying out the new Hoka Bondi 7s for my new road shoe for the summer. So... Happy feet. Oh my gosh, there is nothing like running in a brand new pair of shoes. Oh my gosh, my first run, I think we're last week, I tried out the Spigo 5 Wides for the first time. Had a great, fun run. I did a great run. And then the next run on Monday, I ran in my brand new Bondi's for a road. Had a great fun run. It's like, oh, thank goodness. My feet felt great. Um, I had spring in my step. And, you know, running on dead shoes with no spring is just doesn't work well. It's <laughs> So I buy these all with my own money. They're very expensive shoes. You know, I'm grateful that I can afford them and I and I'm really lucky also to have an REI right close to where I live and uh, really thankful that they have a really nice uh, return policy now that um, they weren't grumpy about it which they have been in the past but now they're reselling um, returned items now two members so now they're not so grumpy about taking back returns where in the past i've had them be very grumpy uh, but now they change their own policy about reselling the returns so you can go buy my returns <laughs> now if you're a member but uh they did not work for me i also took back uh, another item which didn't work out um so i'm really thankful for REI's return policy. It used to be a lifetime return policy years and years ago, which was really nice. Now it's a year, but a year is better than a month, which some stores have. So that's my Hoka story for now. Happy running. Bye.